Hello everybody, welcome to another Let's Play. I am your host, Bones. Today you'll notice new mask. We uh, have been gone a little while. Um, some YouTube channels do that here and there. We're not exactly as big as some of these other Let's Play Titans, so we uh, had a lot of real life stuff to deal with, even if we didn't want to. Um, now I'm gonna do the Forest, a game I've had for a while, and yes, I have played this one, I'm not going to lie to you all and say that I haven't, this is a, uh, a new one that we're doing here, so we're going to call this one, uh, Bones, and we're just going to start, how about that? Um, now a buddy of mine, I, I believe, is doing some other ones. Um, so we're going to actually try to invite him here. And then, boom, we're going to start the game and just let him pop in, I guess. Now, uh, if you haven't ever seen The Forest, this game kind of snuck in, I feel, a little under the radar. There were quite a few that hopped out around this time that are all uh, survival games. Why is this one so different? I'll tell you why. It's one of my favorites, personally. I love this one because it uh, doesn't have zombies. It has cannibal tribals. <coughs> and I think that's pretty cool. Um, the tribals are very unique. So the story starts off with you, your kid, snoozing away there with his action figure. Oh, apparently I can take a look at this book. Poor Tammy. Survival TVs! Stuff of survival on TV. How did they feed me in this flight? I'll be right there, that looks like some sort of penny poem, maybe, with uh, some peas in it. Left, that looks like, ah! Nimbus Grip Meats. Maybe potatoes that have burnt a little bit in the Oh my god, it shit's going down. So yeah, so basically, <clears throat> we'll let this kind of go. Front row, Timmy. I believe it was one of the er early uh, EA early release buyers. I, as a matter of fact, uh, I got this game within the first week it was released. So I'm old school with it, but don't let that fool you. A lot's changed. I haven't played this in over half a year. Uh, we did a little brushing up this morning just so I could re familiarize myself with it. And here we go. Now, this does deal with the subject of, uh, you know, cannibalism, trying to survive. If you're not into survival games and all that, I would recommend you do not do this. Let's play and instead pick one of our others. But, if you've been missing your Bones and Gary content, I also have news for you guys on what's going on with our other little skits. Why did we only ever do a few story time for grown-ups? Da, 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 da. The reason why we did that is we had eight or nine we were going to do that month. Um... Uh, we had a few different issues here that we had to work out with content, the way we wanted to address content, and even the nature of the content itself that became a very, uh, well, very varied issue. And uh, in the end, um, I think we know where we want those to go, so those will be starting back up. Uh, we basically took the time off to streamline everything we were working on, guys, and figure out where we wanted to be with it, what we were going to do, how we wanted things to go. When it came down to Gary, you will indeed see more puppets react. Uh, we've s stopped watching trailers, so there's a lot of them in there. And hey, there's Sardis. So, talking in this could not be simpler. And there is Stardust. There is a, this is a buddy of mine. 
He's probably wondering why the hell I look like I'm having epileptic fits. I said, alrighty. Now, Sardust is actually one of these people I, I played uh, more than one game with. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> was actually kind enough. Gotta give a little shout out. Uh, got me Shadows of War. Which, I guess a lot of people didn't like when it started because it had loot boxes. But I'm not going to lie to you all. Uh, I've been digging it so far. I think it's... Oh, God, don't waste a tree yet, Chief. Um, I personally have been digging it. I think it is a massive upgrade to the original. Now, the game size is gigantic, I'll say. And devs, can we talk for a minute? Devs, um, could y'all quit making these giant-ass 60 gig of these games? The only reason I'm not really going to harp on it for Shadows of War is because I feel like it's justified. The game is gigantic uh, and gorgeous, and the lore is, if you're a token fan like me, it's, mwah, baby. Shit. Okay, those are not the good ones. Anyways, guys, right off the bat, read this book. You need this. You want to read this. Uh, so as we learn there, these are blueberries. Snowberries, not good to eat, as I found out the hard way. What? There's crocodiles in the snow. That is, uh... I don't recall my root being in there. Oh, dude. Now, the guana lizards you're gonna want. I'm also gonna apologize right after that. Um, because you guys are gonna end up seeing us kill a few animals in this game for survival. If that bothers you again, I'm a huge animal person, I get it, you can watch another video, but understand, I do not in real life condone slaughtering animals uh, ever for no reason, and even in my survival situations, I generally try to find another way to, to both survive and not injure an animal. Oh, shiz. He sees what I see. Now guys, these are, this is a cannibal camp, they're not here right now, but uh... We both see it. <clears throat> Communication, if you're going to multiplay any kind of game like this, is essential. Do not mess around. Do not fuck around at all. I would highly recommend you all grab shit from the cannibal camp when you can. I don't really know how much loot I can carry. Is after a lizard. Now, why do we want the lizards? What do the lizards do? The lizards give you stuff that you can actually use. Um, again, in real life, guys, don't be idiots. Don't kill animals just because they're around. That's just stupid. Um, not to mention, it's there's no friggin' point. Don't be that person. In the game, obviously, we are go playing around with the idea that survival of the fittest, yada yada yada, so it makes more sense. But in real life, uh, it worries me when he says something like, what's this game? There are mutants who are even tougher cannibals, and I'm hoping that friend over there isn't about to go and mess with that. Now, I'm going to show you all something cool in a minute here. We've already been spotted. There he is. Now, my buddy Sardus here is great at quite a few different things, one of which is,
I'm just going to say out loud what I just typed there. It's sweet Jesus, that's a huge area then. I don't want to play with that. Um, I didn't put, I don't want to play with that, but I think that's inferred. The sweet Jesus kind of does. So let's go and see. Step one, you're going to want to find a place to set up camp and try and uh, do the damn thing here. In the center. Oh, blueberries, food, free food. And you'll see there on the lower right corner, the little tummy icon, eat as much as you can whenever you find blueberries. Can't always take them with you. You can get a berry pouch later in this, if I believe, which I, you want to make. So for now, whenever you find free food, and in survival settings, I used to call that, that is what you call fast food. Because you can't take it with you. It's there, you just grab what you can, and you go. This guy has an eagle eye. Sardust is the man when it comes down to spending this. Look at him out there. Lone cannibal who doesn't see us. Two of them. Alright, so we're not going to make our camp that this way. So maybe we can get down. We're near the pit. The pit is an area. Oh, no, we're not. Okay. Let's get down to that water there if it's possible. I always feel like the beach is a better option. Mm. Jeez, uh, oh no! Oh my god. I parkoured for the first time in my life, and that is crazy. Now, again, I don't recommend y'all do lizards this way, but... They are what they are, baby. Is insanely good when it comes to the survival stuff. Now, some random tidbits in the forest. A stick is not a spear, but a spear is a better stick. Let that sink in, guys. So, what we're going to want to do here, in the case of Sardis and me, So we're going to want to look for some way into the bigger bodies of water. There we go. And that would be my fun. Uh, so, question one. Do you all know what that's from? That is from... Uh, you know what? We'll see. For the record, do you all know what today's shirt's from? It says, Campy Diem, Camp Campbell. If you know what it's from, drop it in the comments. Uh, it's a show uh, me and my daughter watch together along with my wife, and we find it hilarious, so you guys will have to let me know what show do you think it is. Now again, I'm not going to lie to you guys and say this is cute. It's, uh, you know, I don't love it, but look, it is what it is. It's a survival game, it's a survival world.
He's following my lead on this, which I, I think I should probably be following his. back off. So, where are we going? Um, some things about this game. One, you do not want to be sitting in the dark without a fire in this game. Worst thing you can do. The cannibals are quiet. They are sneaky. And you will find out very quickly that they are not playing. Um, If you have to camp out, don't do what it looks like we'll probably have to do. You don't want to do this. You do not want to ever be stuck where you can't, um, yeah, this is a bad spot to camp. We need to be camping someplace where there is a lot of uh, coast behind us. The woods are bad for one obvious reason. Let's get the bejesus out of me. A game that will make you poop your pants. Starring me! Um, no, it did not yet. However, I'm not going to lie to you. That seriously spooked me the hell out. Gonna build an effigy, I think. Something uh, like that with their bodies. Right, we're down near the beach now. Come on, bud. You need to wash this blood off. We're down here, honestly, is the beach.
Communication again, guys. Very important to mention this. And we're camping. It's chilly. It's going to be right back, I think. Not in this game, but... I had to clean out the infection, but I feel like I've accidentally uh, got no place I can't get back up on the land, and I have. Oh, scrump. There we go. Right. Interesting. This would have been a more ideal place if you are watching me. Because we could have seen down the path. You told me, madam. That goof. I uh, don't actually know how he made that one thing, so I'm going to ask him. Now see, you can put your food here to cook, which is good. Tomorrow we have some big gold. Food bars should do me this fun for now. These clubs are actually pretty damn good. Um, I couldn't remember how to make one, so we had Sardos told me. So what we are doing right now, guys, is just trying to keep diligent a little, vigilant basically. So 
you see here, we can do this, and then we put them on, and we can actually keep the fire going a little brighter and stoke it. Um, now anyways, what this thing is... There is something here that you can do, by the way, which is awesome. This is also a good time to dig stuff up. So here's what we're going to do. Do not ever drink your booze. The ass kickering power of making a, well, one of these, a motel cocktail, you don't want to ever, ever waste your time with any of the southern nonsense when you can be making these, trust me. Um, the power of these things is a game changer and you want to always make sure when you get them you use them they are awesome now that's set we have some sticks i'm gonna try to remember how i did this i got it wrong clearly is it two sticks yep there we go so that's an upgraded spear and then uh, uh he gave me some bones for the spear and then use that to upgrade them. So I have a spear now. The spear is awesome for a huge reason, guys, and that reason is spear fishing. You want spear fishing when you can. I'm also trying to see what this is going to be. Another two. Alright, so three bones, two club. Jesus, this dude is killer with all this. Now the good thing about making a small campfire like this, guys, is this isn't going to be our end all be all campfire. A spear is important because tomorrow we can go fishing, and fishing, my friends, is going to be a vast majority of your food source. Now, some fun things to know about this game, if you've been on the fence. You're probably wondering, alright, well, the game looks good and all that, but, um, how hard is it really to play with other people? And the answer is, not very. As you can see here, I mean, startups are doing great. For the record, kids, fire hurts. Don't do fire.
Oh, it's animal thing grows right now. Now, what Sardos is doing is night hunting. He's better at it than me, than I, uh, I'm guessing. I am not good at it. I tried. So night hunting works like this. He goes sort of boom. Um, atmosphere. The game is decently big. I feel like, uh, they did a really good job. For one thing, the natives in this game will begin to learn you, learn your routines. If they learn your camp, the patrols they make will slowly begin to go there. Oh, shit. <laughs> you probably also hear my dog in the background. Going nuts. I've not yet got her in a let's play. I don't know why. Every time I try to get her here, she hasn't been there. And hey gamers, we just got news from another game. Ooh. Uh, Town of Salem had a data breach, so that happened. Come here. You want to say hi to Let's Play her? Come on. Come on. She might, guys. She might. Let's see if I can use a ninja to like, coax her up here. Come here. No, what's this? What is it, baby? Come on. Come on, girl. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, I put that to you. Nope, she's not going <laughs> to. I'm like, I present to you, and then it can work. All right. Well. Now she wants back up there. Come here, then. Come on, you goop. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. So, here we are, guys. Early morning. Sorry, by the way. I don't know. I don't know what happened there with the... With the dog. Jesus, there are lizards everywhere. Again. Eat what you can, eat when you can. You're not always going to have free food everywhere. Um, that is a lesson for real survival as well. If you know something is good, you don't think you can carry it. Just get what you can, don't overconsume, but get what you can. Uh, to fill your tummy so you're not starved, and then just set off, basically. That's what you want to do in this game. But in real, in real survival situations as well, I've been in a few. We have a third player now, guys. That's a Mads Moto. I'm going to be looking towards the shoreline a bit, trying to see where in the fudge we are.
Zotus is clearly not playing anymore. So, neither am I. Um, because I gotta be his backup. You never know, man. So where he goes, I go. Kinda like Frodo and that other dude. I'm just kidding, guys, relax. Of course, I know it's Samwise Ganji. Jesus. I'm a Tokyo fan. Shit. Again, because I know somebody's going to take this wrong as well. I'm not a, a proponent of going and abusing women or any of that. Yada yada. Basically, guys, use your damn common sense. Is what I'm saying. Anything that you should know uh, not to do in real life, don't, don't do that dumb shit. Okay? Let's let's be honest here. Let's have a moment of clarity, shall we? Also, I lost Sardust. I don't know where he is. There isn't any matter. There's a fishing hole right here. Fishing hole is good for two things. This would be pretty damn good at fishing in this game. The trick, guys, is it's usually a bit to the right of where you are. Or uh, rather, you have to aim a bit to the right of where it is. And you usually do okay there. I have enough meat right now, I feel like we're starting to do a right. Now I'm getting ready to go down here and try and find Sardis again. Um, I actually really dig the lighter texture, and it's a minor detail, but it's a nice one. I always like when developers go to extra mile. Um, now we got four of us again. Um, now when we played earlier, we were goofing around a bit. We have four people. Hi there, welcome. Good, good. We're doing a Let's Play, so you'll be on YouTube if you don't mind. Is that cool? Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind. I just kind of... Alright, cool, man. Alright, so we have a Let's... Uh, a YouTuber. That is me. I guess. I mean, it's a... Oh! That hurt. That hurt a bit. I sit back and I've that exact same thing, bro. Did we just start the game? Too yeah, we were looking for the beach. Uh, I think we finally got into a nicer area. Where we were, man, was awful. Uh, the first night, we... we I can't hear you yet, Mads Moto. I don't know if you got to fix your mic. You have to hit... Yeah, you have to uh, hit Q to follow up the walkie-talkie, then you can talk, and the second you put it away, it starts... It stops communication. Which, by the way, can we just talk about the mic situation in this game? is pretty darn neat. Oh, we can hear you now. Yeah. Also, apparently, you gotta be close to this. So, how's it going, guys? Not too shabby. It'd be better if we could have found the beach, but uh, right now we're just kind of looking for a decent plot of land here to set up. I know uh, quite a bit about this game, if you guys need some help. I know, like, the best one to play, or, like, the, 
Like, for, if you want to have a lot of activity, or if you don't want to be bothered when you're building stuff, things like that. I think we're looking for a spot where we can actually get a decent, you know, a decent foothold in the game without being swamped every time we turn around. That you're actually right next to it already. Either way. Alright, let's see. This is fun. <clears throat> also, I think I broke my damn mic. So there's two places, and like, they're both fairly large areas. So, one place is uh, literally right here in front of us. Uh, there's some, I can't remember which you remember, uh, it is, uh, but he calls this area the Fertile Lands. Because there's a bunch of blueberry bushes and all that around. It's a big open flat area to work on. Or, sorry. Okay. Or, what I like doing, I like making stairs, and I like building up on that cliff out there. So, whichever one you guys feel like doing. So, I can show you guys how to get up there. Or, or down here, whichever. Um, I tell you what, let me tell Sardus here what's going on. He doesn't have a mic, so we gotta type for him. Um, but I think uh, this is a good spot. Oh, okay. Well, I yeah. feel like this is a good spot around here, though, man. There is a lot of nice stuff here. Yeah, so we can either build down here on the bottom, or we can build up on the cliff. I know there's also a pond up there. Okay. Uh, what do you guys think? I'm fine with either. Uh, yeah, either up on that cliff right behind us or right here on this ground as well. I actually usually prefer the cliff because you can kind of look out and see the candles coming at you. I am totally fine with that because that sounds uh, a lot more secure. We're definitely looking for something that is going to give us any advantage we can over them. Yeah. So, the first thing we're going to need, and it's going to take me a minute to get the blueprints ready, you basically just need stairs to go from the top of the cliff to the bottom of the cliff. Um, you can find it in different locations. I do not know any offhand. I know it's in the cave. Yeah, it's all I can find. I can't believe I found it. Friggin' right in there. Anyway, <coughs> the guys hold up. Here's the pond I was talking about. It has fish in it, so you don't really have to worry about food running out. Nice. I like to make a few of those sun racks too to dry the meat. Yeah. But there's another smaller pond. This is where I usually build my stuff around. It's right around uh, this pond. Mads, you gotta sneak at them, man. They run from you unless you sneak out. Oh, I just ran into one and popped it in the head and I killed it. Nice. If you throw your spear, it's a one-hit kill. But it's kinda hard to... I didn't even try it last time. Why did it? How do you make the lighter? How do you make the what? The lighter. Uh, you have to go get the schematics and an underwater cake. You have to what? You have to go find the schematics and an underwater cake. Where's that? Uh, it's underwater.
Why do you have to go find it? I know where they're at, but you need a rebreather to even go get it. You need a what? Rebreather. The place I'm talking about, you, you have to have it. You will run out of breath. You have to go in the middle of the ocean and then go straight down. Oh, so far, guys, this uh, this is one half of the game. Oh my God, what is that? Thing? The trash bin. Is anyone? <clears throat> Anybody doing what? Guess this doesn't have to cry about mama anymore, does it? Oh, and the bad news is the spear went off the edge into the middle of the ocean, so gotta craft a new one. Alright. So let's go back over here after chasing baby for two miles. Kind of funny, you know. A lot of guys, I feel like, only so do one. So, do you guys want to use this pond or the other pond as our main like base area? <laughs> Does the other one look out this the one? cliff a bit more? I think this one is nice. Um, does, is the other one closer near the cliff where we can see the cannibals? I know Sardust over there. I kind of, you see, I like this part right here. And the only bad news is I don't know if you know we just broke up or not. I can't hear you. I'm just gonna take a quick look around the small this area where he's uh where he's deciding where we're gonna go. There. Alrighty, here we are. If I was the king of the forest! Look at the salty ass deer behind you watching us cut the locks. <laughs> it was like, it, it was funny, man. There was a deer that came in to check us, what, uh, cutting down the logs like you sons of bitches.
Uh. Those are my trees. Why are you cutting down my trees? <coughs> Also, if you guys could, someone make a uh, small log cabin up there. It's only 13 logs. That way we have a place to sleep and that kind of stuff. Also, just as a heads up, uh, you never want to eat right before you sleep. Because you'll end up just wasting all the food you ate. Also, then you'll make a poops. You wake up still. Are you bringing this tree down for me? Miss we... Merci beaucoup. Oh, we... Je me trouve magic. I don't know a lot of French. Uh, I know more German than I do French. I know English, French, Korean, Spanish. I don't know sign language. I was gonna have to. Crap. Uh, oh, okay, that's what it's called. I was gonna have to learn Arabic for uh, if I had stayed in the Marines. Phrase in Spanish. Do you know Spanish? Uh, I barely know any Spanish. Quiero mucho grande chitas. Something about having a nice chest. This kid that I'm friends with, right, tells me to go up to these two girls in the mall. Of course, we're younger, and uh, tells me to say that phrase to them, and I get decked in the face by one. And then she proceeds to tell me that I basically told her that I like big boobs. Oh, well, damn. That's a you best friend for you. I got that from the contact clues. That's what, yeah, Tita's should have been my indicator. Tita's should have been my telltale. Japan land. I got a friend who self taught himself or seven different languages. And I was like, how? I need one more log. The only things I learned when I was younger is that you do not ever put a fork in an outlet. It's valuable life advice. Never put a fork in an outlet. Also, drinking and darts do not mix. Excellent work, thank you. Tell me you heard that. What? Here, let's just 
go to sleep real quick. See if we can't go to sleep. What happened? Well, don't sit on the bench facing the fire. Sit the other. You we might want to move that bench. That seems slightly close. I'm about to. Um, let's see here. What about uh, some drying racks? You want me to build some drying racks and some shit for water, maybe? Yeah, but you're going to need a tur turtle shells for water. I think I got one earlier, so can I can at least put one up. Where, what area do you think would be good for him? Right here. Alright. So we'll make a small little, like, base right here and expand that amount. Alright, so we'll do turtle shells here and then I'll do a few drying racks. You want me to do the drying rack? What are we making? You're gonna end, well, just you end up burning through it. Whether you're making rope, making molotovs, making uh, crafting stuff, or <coughs> how do you make what? I got some fish, man, uh, on the fire. So make sure you guys get some meat. So, um, so far I think, guys, we are doing pretty good in this game. Now, wizard skin, you want? For your armor. Oh wow, I didn't realize the plane actually landed over here.
I am from the tropics of Michigan, near Detroit. You wouldn't happen to be in Warren, would you? No, but I used to know that area pretty well. Uh, a girl I met uh, years ago online, she is from Warren. Well, it's not a bad area. It's a lot of, uh... They got, like, the shittiest mall in Michigan in Warren. I don't even think the one they had there is still up, but it's not a bad area. Yeah. I got a cannonball on me, but just one, so I'm just kind of leaving them right now. I'll take that as a no. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can you ask it again, Mads? I didn't hear what you said, bud. Oh. A garden would probably be pretty useful for the medicinal herbs and all that, too, wouldn't it? Should I start on that? Yeah. Alright, I'll start that. So guys, as you can see, this is one fun let's play. Um, I'm actually inside the main cannibal base right now, just picking up a bunch of stuff. Great game. If you guys haven't yet picked up a copy of this game, I cannot really recommend it enough. I think you guys should. I'll tell you that. Fun game. Very fun game. Canada? No. I don't know. I think it's Florida. I used to go to Canada here and there. It's not too far from Detroit, so it was uh, pretty easy to go to. Canada has some really friendly people, too, to your credit. You guys are pretty cool to hang out with. Guys. And girls. Right? You know, just saying. Um, yeah. Uh, what part of Canada? The... Rural part there, right near the border, but I've also been to Quebec. I've been to Toronto. Have you ever been to Ottawa? <clears throat> I have wanted to go to Ottawa, actually. I've never been to Ottawa, though. Hey, that's the truth. Sorry to say. Hey, love. Tennis. I am from... Ottawa. I got a friend who lives in Canada, but I don't know exactly where. Yeah, I, I'm from Canada. I am in Well then welcome. Pretty cool. We have people from all over. Uh, oh. Uh, and of course I stepped in fire because I haven't done that yet today. Uh, uh, Gotta go through my daily quota. Uh, it's stepping uh, in the fire, the burning my damn foot. Dude, by now my boot has to be the most burned boot of any boot ever. What is wrong with my guy? Alright. I'm making my oh, way back to you guys now. I now have 71 cloth. I had zero. Oh, cool. How do you do that? <coughs> you go to the main cannibal base? behind me and just go pick up cloth that are playing around. Yeah, it responds pretty well, doesn't it? Also, Mads, if you need food or stardust, blood, either, any of you need food, I keep trying to put some meat on the fire here periodically so we got stuff cooking too all the time. Yeah. Well, if you just hang it up on the drying rack, you don't really have to worry about it. Yeah. I know, but... Uh, our drying racks right now are full. I figure I'll probably make another since there's four of us. It makes sense to have about four racks worth of stuff here. Yeah. yeah. What I uh, usually do, like whenever I get a base going, I will actually make a smokehouse. I get a small little custom smokehouse. It's literally just full of drying racks and fire pits. Oh. That's a pretty cool idea, actually. Alright, guys, I'm going to uh, keep playing, but I'm going to end the YouTube video. So if you guys want to say hi to anybody before I end it, you are free to. Alright, I'm good. Uh, I'm good.
hope they enjoy watching. Hello, bye-bye. <laughs> All right, so for everybody here, thank you guys very much for watching our video. And uh, we are people from all over, town betting cannibals, and Sardos is throwing on, on the fire again. He is very proficient as a hunter, that's for sure. Ready?